one of the things that made me want to do this. I was on a train and this real creep got on and he starts talking to this girl. I could see what he was doing as he was trying to, to make this girl feel that she was, you know, isolated and no one could protect her. The girl gets up and she walks off on the platform. And then just as the doors are shutting, he gets off the train to follow her. You know, I feel like I failed that. My name is The Black Rat. I'm Sydney's real life superhero. A couple of years ago, uh, I was attacked in the street at random. It left me traumatised with a post-traumatic stress disorder. The way that my disorder expresses itself, it creates a sense of vigilance and of, of uh, sensitivity to danger. I really can't ignore a lot of the sensory information that most people pass by. I guess it made me look around where I live and, and think, you know, there are all these things that someone should be doing something about. I probably patrol about 20 to 30 kilometres a week. I, mean, I wouldn't claim it's the most dangerous part of Sydney, but it's the community that I live in and the community I want to give back to. Uh, and realistically, most nights when I go out, I'm not going to encounter anything. I think my job is to be an extra set of eyes and an extra set of ears and an extra set of boots on the ground. I think my job is to patrol in areas where the police wouldn't normally bother having a foot patrol. So I can make sure something gets done. had a very hard life and I want to save other people from having to go through what I've gone through. I want people to think that it could be anyone behind this mask because anyone should be able to step in and help someone else in a situation. My name is The Black Rat. I'm Sydney's real life superhero.